Hello everyone, konnichiwa, good evening here in Algeria. So uh, today's interview is with my friend, uh, Mr. Shoichi Ishikawa, a Japanese uh, architect uh, whom I knew in around 2000, I guess 2012, 2012, yeah, or two, 2000, 2012. He was a master's student at uh, uh, Matsumoto Laboratory, the laboratory of my professor, uh, Doctor of Engineering, uh, Noji Matsumoto at Nagoya, Nagoya Institute of Technology, uh, NIT. So at that time I was a doctor student, and uh, I did. Uh, he, he was, I mean, among the other students, I was quite close to him, a bit. Uh, he got a good sense of design, good, good taste. So I remember he got the Golden Prize of uh, Design uh, uh, after the, uh, I think there was a competition after the Tsunami of uh, 2011, Fukushima, and he got the prize and uh, after that he, uh, we kept in touch, being in touch uh, via Facebook and uh, he uh, he for, worked for three years in uh, in architecture of, in, an, in an in architecture firm in Tokyo for three years. Then he founded with his friend uh, a design office uh, called uh, One Ichinoichi Architects Architects or One to One Architects. They had uh, some projects in uh, in Japan in Aichi Prefecture, I think Aichi Prefecture, yeah, and uh, another project in Zimbabwe. And um, I think beginning from November 2022, he founded his own design office, Shoichi Ishikawa Architect. Uh, he got the first class architecture license, uh, Japanese license, and uh, he's working uh, on his own now. Uh, we kept in touch. I, I always liked his way of designing, his way of seeing architecture. So I decided to... Uh, to make this interview with him, discuss his ideas, his projects, his uh, his way of seeing or doing architecture. So uh, the entire uh, interview or discussion was in Japanese. So uh, so at, at the end of each chapter, which part of this uh, interview, I will add my explanation of what he said in uh, in English. Thank you very much. Ma ni Algeria de Konnichiwa, ni Honde Kombawa. In Algeria de Niji du Hachifun, Nisan Nijusan, and Nigatu Nisan Nijusan Nichi, no Mokyobi. Ni Honwa de Eto Onajihi, Takedo, Yoro no Juji, Jukufun de Show. Ja, Ishkawa san, Oshashibu des ne. Genki, o Genki des ka. え、と、私と、最初はね、私はね、えっと、日本に2000、2年ぐらい、え、来ました。文部科学省が来てもらってきました。そして、私はあ、あった日本人の学生はね、私には、え、いろんな学生はね、ま、今は建築も、もちろん
、日本の中の愛知県という、うん、あの、まあ、決して都会ではない、あの、地方の都市で生まれて育ちました。うんえーでえー、そこでずっとそのまま、えー、大学に行くまで育って、まあ、大学の中で、えー都市計画を先行する中で、マンソーリさんと出会うことになります。はい。で、でえー、大学を出た後は、大きな組織設計事務所という、うんまあ、300人ぐらいのこう設計者がいる、あの、大きな、えー、会社に入って、大きな建物を設計してました。えー、小学校とか、庁舎とか、えー、まあ、会社の中では、美術館とか、そういう大きな建物を設計する人はたくさんいました。で、そこで3年半勤めた後で、またあその勤めた時はあの東京都の会社に勤めていたんですけども、あそこを辞めて帰ってきてからはまた愛知県に戻ってきて、1の1というあの建築設計事務所を友人と共同で設立をしまして、うんえーまあ、そこで7年ぐらい、えー、一緒にやった後に、えー、今、えー、この間の去年の秋ですかね、うんえー、パートナーシップを解消して、うんえー、自分の名前であの設計事務所を構えて、えー、愛知県でまた引き続きやっているというところです。じゃあ、good, good luck です。good luck です。<笑> wish you all the best です。えっとですね、ちょっと、えー、最初はね、やっぱりエクスペリエンスは卒業して、マス,マスター卒業して、あとは沖縄,沖縄会社は東京でしたですね。東京の会社です。やっぱり一番沖縄会社,会社はね、東京,に東京でありますね、会社は。うん、ああそう、うんうん。あと3年ぐらいですね。3年ぐらいです。ちょっと忙しかったですね。まあ、忙しかったですね。ああ毎日朝から終電、終電ってわかりますかね。あのあああ<笑>夜何時までぐらいあのあの日付が変わるまで仕事してましたねああいや,やっぱりねそれは私若い私ね若い時はそんな仕事はできますけれども今はできない私も無理もうできないですね<笑>やっぱりね<笑> This part of the discussion is about who is、uh, Mr. Shoichi Ishikawa or is Shoichi Ishikawa san So,、uh, Ishikawa、uh, san was born in、uh, Aichi prefecture、uh, and exactly in、uh, the Mikawa part because、uh, before the Meiji restoration, restoration the、uh, Aichi can was divided in two parts, two, uh, uh, two areas like there was the Owari area, area and the、uh, Mikawa area. Uh, so he was born in、uh, Chiryu city,、uh, which is loca- located in the central part of、uh, Aichi prefecture and exactly at the Mikawa part,、uh, Mikawa, area, Mikawa area. So there he,、uh, he went to kindergarten, of course, elementary school, junior high school, and high school. Then he entered the, after、uh, Uh, entrance exam, uh, entrance uh, examination, uh, he could join the, the prestigious, prestigious,、uh, prestigious uh, Nagoya Institute of Technology, where he decided to study architecture. So he joined the Faculty of Architecture and、uh, Urban Planning、uh, and uh, he obtained, the,、uh, and then in his、uh, During his master degree, master studies, he joined the Mats- Professor Naoji Matsumoto Laboratory, where, in which I was a doctor student. And uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Ishikawa, uh, I think, I, I, if I, uh, I th- uh, yeah, I'm sure, yeah, he、uh, did research on、um, townscape and gestalt psychology, and exactly、uh, the concept of pregnancy.、Uh, he, he made a very good presentation, very good, the- very good thesis, and、uh, he, he published the paper. It was very interesting. Uh, and that, but yeah, he was more f- interested in working as a practitioner, as a practice, wanted to practice his architecture. So、uh, after graduation, he,、uh, f- after obtaining his master's degree, he joined a、uh, big architecture firm in Tokyo,、uh, in which about 300 people、uh, work. I mean,、uh, 
300 people work in this company and um, and he worked there for three years and a half in Tokyo and uh, he, he could participate in uh, the design of uh, uh, elementary schools, museums, uh, a lot of quite big scale projects. He was. He said he was very busy because he always uh, went home. Uh, he often went home uh, yeah, yeah, on the last train. The last train. I mean, few minutes or f mm, few uh, few minutes before or after midnight. So uh, it's it's it's, uh, it's busy job. Being an architect in Japan is very busy job, especially at at a firm. Then uh, after three years and a half working uh, hard working at that firm. He resigned. He resigned, and then he decided to went back to go back. To, sorry, he decided to go back uh, to go back to uh, his uh, hometown. I think to uh, Aichi Prefecture, and exactly at Chiryu, where he founded a, a small uh, design company, a design office with his friend. He founded. Uh, I think he was uh, his friend since since elementary school. Uh, they called it Ichinoichi, so two friends. That's what he said to me when I visited him. That was that, that's what he said. Uh, so if they founded the uh, one Ichino Ichi architects or one to one architects with his friend. So he had the opportunity to work on. Uh, they had the, the opportunity to work on many projects in uh, in Aichi Prefecture and uh, as well in uh, Zimbabwe. I think. Yeah. Uh, after seven years working with his uh, friend. He, uh, he decided to work on his own beginning from the autumn or the fall of 2022. So, uh, and uh, he's working on many projects, uh, many ongoing projects that we will talk about. Uh, uh, we'll, talk, we'll talk about of some of them uh, uh, in this discussion.自分は芸術が好きだったので、あの、絵を描いたりとか、こう、物を作ったりとか、ま、そういうことができる、え、学問の分野として建築の学科を選びました。あ、素晴らしいですね。あとはね、え、そしてやっぱり、え、うん、大
素晴らしい先生ですね、私にはね。よく勉強しました。研究とか設計とか、あと学生みんなすごく人間的な環境ですね。私は外国人ですけれども、あんまり本当に同じスピリットね、だいたい何がスムーズに、あ学生リズムをね、自分のグループです。私にはね、すごく良かったです。まあ、でも本当に、懐かしいことはね。So,、uh, I was asking、uh, 石川さん、uh, why did he choose architecture as a profession, as a, as a path in life? So, he said that, that、uh, when he entered the、uh, Nagoya Institute of Technology, he, they, all the students they have to choose, they had to choose a faculty to join, whether it's mechanical engineering or, or faculty or department.、Uh, So,、uh, like mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, informa- information science engineering, systems enge- system engineering,、uh, architecture,、uh, etc. So,、uh, as he used to like,、uh, he used to, like uh, to draw, to design, to make、uh, models, to,、uh, to make things, you know,、uh, sculpt and things, I don't know. Many things,、uh, he said, the mono t s u t a r i so. A lot of、uh, maybe hobbies he had. So、uh, he had to choose,、uh, well, he, he did choose architecture. And、uh, this brought to me、uh, so nostalgic memories at the laboratory of、uh, Naoji Matsumoto sensei, Professor Matsumoto. So、uh, I didn't feel like I was a strange, stranger there. So there was a very good environment, atmosphere. Uh, where I could,、uh, I could really enjoy, especially in my last years in Japan. The, the last seven years in Japan, I was, I was,、uh, I was really enjoying、uh, being with the Japanese students, discussion with them, architecture, design, research. I、uh, really enjoyed that. And Matsumoto sensei, I learned a lot from, I, I did learn a lot from、uh, Matsumoto sensei, sensei and from all the students working there,、uh, studying there, because they used to make,、uh, to participate in competition, design competitions, and I used to watch them how they, use, they make models, how they, they do think、uh, about architecture. し石川さんの設計会社でやった仕事はもちろん設計とか設計会社で誰どちらがいいポイントとかあんまり好きじゃないポイントグッドポイントはバッドポイントはどちらですかあ、はい、あのえー、っと大きな会社のグッドポイントは、うんえー、いろんな分野の人がいることですねああの構造だったり設備だったり、うんえー、コスト管理だったり、うん、営業だったり、うんえー、いろんな分野の人がいるので、うんえーまあ、困ったらいろんな人に聞きに行けるし、うん、あのすぐにチームがあの近くにいることで、うん、あの打ち合わせがしやすかったりとか、うん、いうようなメリットがあると思います、うんえーまあ、反対にこうそうだな、えー、必ず自分の上にはこう上司がいて、うんえーそのまあボスの,あの言うことをまあ聞きながら、うん、あのそのボスの言うことを聞きながら自分のこう良さをいかに出していくかというところが重要になってくると思うんですけども、うんえーまあ、キャリアが浅い中ではそれがなかなかしづらいところもあって、うんえー、自分の意見をこう通せないこう、まあ、自分の実力が伴わないことで自分の意見が通らないという,こうジレンマを抱えるということが、まあデメリットみたいなものとしてはあるのかなと思います。うん、あのまあ、反対にこう独立して自分で事務所を構えると、うん、あの全部自分の責任ではあるんですけども、うん、あの自分がこうお接し様にクライアントに提案したいものが、うん、そのままクライアントにこう話せたりとかっていう、うん、あの、えー、なんだろうなこう。そこら、そこのこうコミュニケーションのフラストレーションがなくなって、ああそ,ううんうん、そうですね。あの直接こうコミュニケーションをクライアントと一緒にできるというのがあの一番のメリットかなと思います。うん、あそ,れ、ね、それはもちろんグループの仕事やるとくと、一人でやるとはちょっとまあ全然違いますね。多分ね、まあでも、建築の仕事はいつもストレスがありますね。まあ、それは大変。会社とか自分の責任、もっとストレスがあると思います。
I was asking uh, Ishikawa-san about his experience at the uh, architecture firm in which he was working, which was big, a big one. So uh, what, what were the good points and the bad points? The good side and the bad side of working in a company. Well, uh, he said uh, he was only talking about uh, uh, the good side and uh, compared to uh, to uh, to now, and uh, now he's working uh, independently as a uh, as an architect on his own. He didn't talk about the uh, dark side of working in a firm, uh, which is being too busy, uh, not having a life, I guess. I guess, uh, especially in a very busy job as uh, as architecture job, as uh, well, architecture is uh, is a really uh, not an it's a tough profession. Well, uh, he was talking. He was he said that working in a firm is easy because the communication. I mean, uh, if you got a problem, a design problem or uh, something like that, there. Are, People work with you, working with you from uh, coming from different backgrounds, so many speci specialities. And there is less frustration. I think you are not working. You are not working on your own. So there are many uh, people coming. People coming from different backgrounds, many specialities, like uh, structural engineers, mm -hmm. and like uh, facility design people, like uh, material uh, material science people, for example, or material engineering people, like uh, business administration, many, many specialties. So you, you won't get like uh, stuck in a, in a problem. People will help you to solve. And if you have a like, brilliant idea, you get the merit within the group. So you always, I mean, you cannot just, I mean, get stuck on your own opinion. So you have to report this to your boss or to your manager and you, we all, you all solve the problem together and uh, especially during meetings during uh, uh, I mean I mean uh, during the project uh, how to say uh, project uh, time well wow. uh, but uh, compared to uh, when you work uh, as a private architect um, well, it depends if you have a frustration talking with clients or not, or you're good at communicating with the clients or not. I mean, uh, I mean, you are just working on your own. You have to. You, you're working. You are on your own. You have to find a solution. You have to uh, uh, to uh, to find a way uh, on your own. So, uh, uh, of course, after getting the uh, the first class architecture li architecture license, which is not easy, you have to study a lot. And you have to have an experience in design and in construction, construction as well. Um, and finally, I mean, we both agreed that working as an architect at a firm or working as an independent architect, your job is the job is always busy. You are always busy, always busy trying to make people happy. ですね。え、まあ、そしてどうしてえ、やっぱりなんか流れみたいな。え、最初はま、学生時にそして大きな会社働いて、そしてワン、え、一の一との会社二人でしょ。あとはま、自分でやってます。やっぱりなんか流れ
three three points, three dimensions. Like uh, first of all, Japanese, uh, the history of Japanese architecture, or maybe even the history of Japan, uh, from uh, the law, law and regulations, uh, urban regulation, uh, architectural regulations of uh, the build, builder regulations and also about customs and traditions, Japanese customs and traditions. So uh, he often tries to respect that or break down everything to, to, to generate a new idea. And uh, so this, uh, I mean, he's always working on, on these uh, uh, sources of inspiration, sources of ideas to generate a new hustle or new hustle in Japanese is like uh, uh, the concept, the idea. やっぱりた、まあ、例えばこう私は、まあ、私は日本で勉強した、まあまあ、なん修士と博士ちょっと研究は違いますけれども、えっと、私は日本の建築はねやっぱり構造システムはねコンクリートと,と木造とあと鉄ね鉄石川さんはねとどちらが一番、まあすぐよく使うとかよく、まあ、好きな構造システムは、ねうん、あそうですね、えっとね、えっと、その会社に行ったときは、うん、もう木造はないですね、あのねコンクリートか、うん、あの鉄のどちらかじゃなかったですけど、うんあのまあ、独立してからは小さい建物が多いので、うん、住宅とか、うん、あのクリニックとか。うん小さい建物なのであの、必然的にそこは木造が多くなります。木造ね。うん、はい。うん。なので今は大体木造か鉄、鉄骨道の、まあ、どちらかで設計することが多いですね。うん。うんうん、あと、うんまあ、どうぞどうぞ。すみません。うん。うん、あの、木造が一番コストが安いので、あ安いです、ね、日本。はい。やっぱり日本で木造一番安いですね。そうですね、はい、アルジェリアで一番高い、アルジェリアで木造は、一番高い、はい、あと、やってるよく、うん、ベテランとか、やる人がすごく少ない、うんやっぱりコンクリートだけ、やっぱコンクリート、鉄を少しだけ、で木造は少ない、すごく昔はあったとき、今、行ったとき、いましたけど、今はない、少ない、あと、でも上手はではないです、私にはね。Structural systems or structure or construction. So,、uh, I was always, well, while, while I was in Japan, because I was uh, uh, always, always inspired, or I, I, did li- I still do like their way of mixing up, you know, not mixing up, taking care of every single detail about architecture and construction. It's not just talk, it's not just drawing, it's just also the sense of detail, the sense of、uh, a procedure, procedure of、uh, construction.、Uh, Etc. So、uh, I was asking、uh, Mr. Ishikawa about which structural system did he,、uh, he do like.、So、because in Japan there are three main、uh, systems of construction, mainly reinforced、uh, concrete, RC, and wooden structures, Mokuzo, and uh, uh, steel uh, structures,、uh, in French,、uh, structure metallique. Uh, uh, so he said, like,、uh, while he was working in the,、uh, the architecture firm, the big one, the big architecture firm,、uh, there was no、uh, wooden structures used mainly. Mainly, to,、uh, mainly there was、uh, RC reinforced concrete or steel, or,、uh, steel st- uh, structures, or steel systems of、uh, construction or structure. Uh, uh, so, uh, but uh, uh, when now he's working independently, mainly, mainly he was working with、uh, wooden、uh, structures and、uh, sometimes steel、uh, structure, structures.、Uh, because in Japan,、uh, wood, the wood is,、uh, building with wood is, is, is the cheapest, the cost is、uh, the lowest. So,、uh, Mokuzo. Uh, it's, it's cheap because people want to build、uh, cheap houses, you know. 
so I, I told him, you know, in Algeria, it's, on the contrary, it's uh, Algeria building with wood is very expensive. And the, uh, the problem is not just the cost, it's also because uh, we don't have, um, I mean, good people, I mean, talented people, or maybe uh, people with ex good experience in wood, good experience in wooden structures to make a really uh, good construction work in uh, using wood. So, uh, uh, well, we can't compare in Japan different cultures, different history. So, uh, well, it's a fact. え、ちょっと、で、まあ、できましたか。え、何年これ。あ、僕は、え、6年前ぐらいかなと思いますね。え、3、自分は30歳ぐらいの時だったと思うんですけど。はい。難しかったですか難しかったですか難しかったですか。
Second one is uh, Kankyo Environmental Architecture. Environment. Mm -hmm. Environmental Architecture. No need to follow the, the, the same a lot of details. Third one is Horitsu, or building, uh, building Legislation or Building Regulation, the law related to uh, the urban side or the architectural side of construction. Third one is Kozo, which is the structure. So they, they don't treat only, uh, they, don't, uh, they don't cover only the, uh, the, uh, the wooden structures, but the RC, reinforced, reinforced concrete st uh, structures, wooden structure, structures and steel structures. And finally, Seko, which is construction. So the, uh, the Jikan, time for this examination, maybe one hour uh, for each one, one hour, one hour, 45 minutes uh, to two hours, I think, I guess. And finally, the, uh, the uh, I think the afternoon uh, exam is uh, the, the, the period is six hours and a half, half which is a design drafting test. Uh, and uh, and they do the test from morning to night, I think once a year, once a year. And the, the longest, of course, is the design drawing test, or designing. And uh, once, uh, I think 2007, I had an American friend uh, whom I met in Kyoto. He was trained with me in Yoshinkan Aikido. And his brother-in-law, uh, his wife is Japanese, so his brother-in-law is a Japanese architect. And he's, he studied at the uh, I mean, private school. Uh, for six months just to prepare for the uh, Ikyuken Chikushi, the first class architecture license exam. And he said they, in the, in the exam, especially, especially in the design, they don't care about the aesthetics and uh, bigaku, bigaku tekina koto. So they don't care about the, uh, that much about the beauty of the building. No, they just care about the stability of the structure and how to make this construction of the building earthquake resistant. And believe me, it's a very difficult exam. I wish I could, uh, I, I, wish, I wish I could try it uh, a long time ago, I wish. あとはですね、えー、もちろん、えー、と石川さんね、昨日、えーまあ、1週間前ね、週間前えー、石川さんのポートフォリオね、送りました、えーえーえー。いただきました。すみません、ちょっと、まあ、天然日本語<笑>いただき、すみません、失礼しました。だったは忘れました、日本語の、まあまあ、天然日本語は、すみません、ソーリーね。いただきました。いただいて、あと、一、クリニック、いろんなプロジェクト、クリニックとか、住宅とか、あと、コーヒーショップとか、えー、じゃあ、や,や,やっぱり、さっきも前の話、やっぱり好きなプロジェクトね、まあ、石川さん好きなプロジェクトは、私は一つのプロジェクトだけ、もう、えー、行ったことがあります。やっぱり、石川さんのお父さんの家ですね。
、すごく素晴らしかったコンセプト。まあ、素晴らしいコンセプトで私にとっては。私には、まあ、外国人ですけれども、やっぱり2回行って、あと光と、内部空間と外部空間と中間空,空間の関係、その流れは私は、えっと、感じしました。すごく私は好きだったですね。やっぱり、プロジェクトの場合は、ハウス NA、お父さんの家ね。家族の、えー、ハウス NA ですね。NI。NI、NI、すみません。ま、間違えました。My bad.NI、okay.。NI。NI なぜなら私は頭がでフランス語で考えています。愛は英語で愛<笑>、えー、フランス語でいいとか、まあ、すみません、頭が。えー、N I。じゃあ、どうしてこのハウス,ハウス N I とかで、お父さん、自分の、まあ、家とか、まあ、変更したかったんですかあと、石川さんのアイディアとか、うん、ちょっと説明していただけませんかあー、OK。えー、っと、どうしましょうえっと、画面は出した方がいいです。はい、このまま。はい。ちょっと、ハウス・エン・アイス、ちょっと待ってください。私が共有しましょうか。どっちでもいいです。どっちもでいいです。はい。はい。ハウス・エン・アイ。ウラ、コンセプト、ウラと思って、と、えーね、教会。はい。シェアした方がいいと思います。もしできればね。あ、わかりました。はい、えー、っと、待ってくださいよ。これで共有して。シェアされてますかあ、されてます。されてます。です。はい、okay. ハウス、エンアイ。はい。あ、あ、見てます。今、地図見えてますかあ、見えてます。見えてます。全部見てます。あ、わかりました。<笑>うんえー、とこれがあの僕の実家を上空から見たところの写真でして、うんうん、と田,んぼがた田んぼとか畑がまだ周りにたくさんあって、うんえー、住宅うよりもこう田んぼや畑の割合の方が多いような場所ですね。うん、で愛知県の中で愛知県はまあ地方都市ではあるんですけども、うんとまあ、その中でも。市街化調整区域っていうふうな、あの、まあ、市街化、町になることを抑制するというような、うん、あの、町にならないようにしようというような、えー、場所に指定されている地域なので、うんうん、まあ、そんなに簡単に建物が建つ場所ではないんですけども、うん、うん、とだんだんとこの周りに、えー、田んぼや葉とか畑が、うん、埋め立てられていって、えー、住宅があこういろいろたくさん建ってくるというような形で、うんうんうんまあ、街並みもこうどんどん僕が子どもの時から比べると、えー、だいぶこう建物が多くなったなというような印象を持っています。うんあえー、街並みの良さはこんな感じですね。えー、田んぼや畑だったり、古い住宅があったり、えー、新しい、えー、最近できた住宅が、えー、あったりしますね。うんえー、これが私の、えー、育った家で、うんえー、回収する前の様子です。回収する前ね。はい。築50年の木造の平屋建て、1階建ての住宅です、うん、で最初はこれをこう壊して建て替えようっていうようなお話,だ話を、うんえー、両親からあ依頼があったんですけども、うんえー、あ父親があ僕の父がすごくこう古いこう梁小屋組ですねこの木の、うんえー、屋根の。えー木造のこう古い雰囲気がすごく好きな人だったので、うんえー、新しい家でもこういうふうな木を古い木を入れたいというような要望があってあ、うんでまあ、実際ここの家にはこう古いこう箱屋組が使われていたので、うんまあ、せっかくならこれを残した方がいいんじゃないかというような提案をさせてもらって、うん
にこの,その新築っていう話をなくして、えーえー、回収してあのこの古い子役目を残そうというようにプロジェクトの舵を切りました。えー、設計のプロセスはですね、うん、すねこの平屋建てのこの赤の部分を解体します、うんうんえー、そうすることによってこの庭の形がこう湾曲したいびつな形をしていたんですけども、うんえー、それがですねこのまあこの屋根を描き換えることによって、えー、庭の形をまあきれいにとって。でなおかつ建物の形もまあきれいにこう長方形に揃えようというふうに考えました。うん、でその上でこう青いところにですね一個こう水平のスラブを挿入して、うんえー、まあ新しい場所を作ろうという計画になっています。うんうんえー、これが、えー、模型ですね。モ,モデルですね。うん、はい、えー。赤色の部分を壊して。うん、茶色の部分をそのまま利用して、うん、で青色の部分を新しく挿入してます、うんでえー、これは現場が進んでいくと、うん、おこれ解体ですね、うんうんえー、ここに「残す」って書いてあるんですけど、うん、あの残す柱と壊す柱っていうのをはい大工さんと共有しながら、丁寧に壊していきます。わ、うん、かりました。うん。うん。で、こう、えー、骨だけの状態だったんですね。うん、で、ここが少しこう変わったポイントなんですけども、うん、日本には、揚げ屋とか、引き屋っていう技術があります。うん。え、揚げ屋、えー、引き屋っていうのは、あの、神社とかお寺で使われる手法で、建物をそのまま持ち上げて、移動させて別の場所に置いたり、向きを変えたりすることができる技術です。あ、そうです。これは歴史的な建物ですね。そうです。歴史的な建物で使われる技術です。大,大事な建物とかは分かりました。うん、そうですで。そこで使われているこの揚げ屋という技術で、はい、こう建物を基礎から浮かせてます。ジャッキアップしてます。あはい。素晴らしいですね。でえー、この基礎をあ壊し壊すんですね。この基礎を持ち上げてる間に基礎を壊す。うん、わかりました。木造木の実務を持ち上げてる間に基礎を壊してます。うん、で持ち上げてる間に、えー、基礎新しい基礎を作っていきます。うん。うんこれは新しい基礎ですね。そうですね。うん。で、次にこれが、あのローラーを、うん、あの、木の、木の軸組みの下に、ねえー、入れているわけですね。で、これをこう、ローラーを動かして、うん、えぇ、ー、軸組みをずらして、うん、えぇ、ー、下に下ろします。素晴らしいですね、これ。で、その新しい基礎の上に、こう、木、古い木の軸組みを乗せてここに新しい、うん、先ほど青で、うん、あの色をつけていた部分が、うんえー、この新しい針として入ってくるわけですね、うんえー、これがイメージのモデルです私は入っ,た入ったことがありますからすごくまあ懐かしいイメージですごくすごく素晴らしいな本当にこのまあ空間と構造の考え方ね石川さん,、うん、ありがとう。うん。そうですね。はい。そうそうそう。えー、ここにマンスコリさんが来てくれました。ああ、ありがとう。あと、<笑>えっと、石川さん、えっと、はい、設計、設計ね。設計の,、はい、の時間ね。あと、作り方の時間は何、何ヶ月ぐらいかかりましたか何,何年ぐらい。設計とか、えー、ディテールとか、いろいろ。3年2年2年から3年ぐらいやってたと思います、うん、設計それやから、えー、設計が設計が1年半か2年ぐらいあ,あ、うん、設計が2年ぐらいで、えー、施工が
7ヶ月ぐらい。半年ちょっとぐらい。うん。建設は全部求めて3年ぐらい。建設。建設と合わせると3年ぐらいですかね,ね。えっと、ちょっと普通の、例えば、例えば質問はね、日本の、まあ、建築はね、例えば、ゼロから、例えば、古い家とか、なくして、はい、えっと、新しい、まあ、デザイン、最初ゼロから、もう、始めます。それと、いえ、そんな、まあ、石川さんのプロジェクト、今の、えー、ハウスアイのプロジェクト、やっぱり古い棟の中で新しい、新しいコンセプトを入れたでしょう。コストはどちらが一番高いですかあたゼロは、まあ、全部のコストか、えー、うん。うんうんうん。うんと、このプロジェクトに関して言うと、うん、うん新築と同じぐらいだと思います。同じぐらいですね。うん、あのというのも、<笑>えー、ちょっと考え方次第ですね、うんえー、とこ,この中間の部分にこうスラブがありますね、うん、2階の床の部分、うん、新しいスラブ、あそこの床面積がすごく大きいので、うん、あ,あの家はかなりこう広い床面積を持ってるんですね、うんまあ、それを考えると、新築するよりもはるかに安くできてます。うんうんうん、ただあまあ実質使える部分の床面積で考えると、うん、あ新築したのとそんなに変わらないぐらいにはなってると思います。わ、うん、かりました、うん。コストはすごく、まあ、建築に、ねまあ、大事ですね。ハウス &I。ハウス &I is、uh, the house of the parents of Mr. 石川。石川翔一さん。Uh, I visited, I visited this、uh, when I went to Japan again. I mean, for the、uh, after I left Japan in 2016, I went back in 2018 for、uh, research to do at a major university. So I did contact Mr.、Uh, Ishikawa and he invited me to have dinner with his family and he showed me his、uh, newly designed house or renovated. It's a design and a renovation at the same time. So,、uh, I believe so. I hope I didn't make, I hope, I hope I didn't make any mistake in the architectural terminology,、uh, I mean, correct terminology. So,、uh, he invited me to have dinner and he showed me the concept. When I went there, I was so impressed by the, when, when I went to the、uh, second floor,、uh, Nikai. So, the, I, I like the, that continuity between,、uh, I mean, the visibility, visibility between, I mean, the interior, the continuity, visual continuity between the interior and the exterior, and、uh, the space, the, how the, the space was managed and was designed, and the, the continuity or maybe the nagari, the flow between the interior space, the intermediate space near the windows, the glass, and、uh, not the window, near there, the, the glass、uh, wall. Around the,、uh, the second floor and、uh, just under the roof and、uh, with the external space. It was so wonderful. I like, I mean, I mean it's my taste of designing spaces. So,、um, the、uh, parents, Ryoshi no Ie, so the,、uh, the house of the parents of、uh, Mr. Ishikawa is about 50 years old. It's、uh, located within. Uh, farm area, area of farms and rice fields, and、uh, also, I mean, many a lot of houses、uh, were built there. Some are did remain old, and some were like、uh, rebuilt and newly. I mean,、uh, I mean uh, how to say, and then、uh, the old houses were like uh, uh, I mean, there was a demolition of old houses, and new houses were built. Uh, etc. So、uh, the, 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 the landscape was changing.、Uh, but、uh, Mr. Ishikawa, as his、uh, Mr.、Uh, Ishikawa father,、uh, likes the old wooden structures. So、uh, the design and the idea of,、uh, of Mr. Ishikawa is to protect, to keep that old structure, especially, especially the one of the roof. So what he did is that uh, he. Uh, Redesigned the garden, the, the external space, and he、uh, took, uh, took off a part of the,、uh, of the old house 
and uh, with some technique like they do for when they want to preserve or move an old historical building moved from a place to another place or uh, protected or something like that so they did like with a technique so they did elevate or, or jack up the uh, uh, the structure the, the wooden structure the elements uh, vertical elements elements of the wooden structure they, they, that they wanted to keep the demolition they elevated that and the the, 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 the elements that they wanted to keep or preserve and then uh, they fix them and they move them a little bit uh, they move them from the uh, from the uh, previous structure they built a new foundation uh, foundational system they, new foundations a new structure and then they uh, roll uh, uh, um, they did move back and um, move back again the uh, the the uh, the elements the structural elements they they wanted to keep preserve to their uh, previous uh, location and they uh, integrated i mean second floor before it was just one uh, one floor before it was just one floor with roof so uh, they created a, a new second floor new slab new slab uh, and there was continuity just of course uh, we can go by by, by stairs a visual continuity between the it's like a, it's like a mezzanine mezzanine between the the first floor the ground floor uh, one the first floor and the second floor and the uh, by the integration of that new slab there was surrounded like a glass uh, around the, uh, the 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 second floor and this it was a wonderful place where his father could play music could enjoy uh, his life uh, staying there by the way his father could speak uh, decent English and uh, well uh, uh, the concept of the slab is like it's like a sandwich sandwich with something to add between the first floor it's creating the second floor and the roof so the slab is like uh, something it's uh, something designed within the old house it's quite, quite interesting and uh, I took some notes uh, so the design, uh, the design uh, took almost uh, two years, and the construction took almost uh, seven months. Okay. Design took two years, and the construction took seven months. So uh, uh, the uh, so the overall um, the whole I mean, the overall time was uh, the I mean the uh, anyway. Uh, there's a redesign and rebuilding uh, that house to a new one uh, to make a new one new space new construction took almost three years i like that space i like that construction it's very wonderful and uh, i uh, congratulate mr ishikawa he must mr ishikawa for that it was it's, it's a great design that's my opinion sorry uh, i forgot to mention that i asked mr ishikawa ishikawa about the cost of uh, construction between Demolition the old house and building a new house from zero a new concept a new design or preserving the uh, old structure and make a new a new modeling the house in a new way so he said uh, it, it was almost the same same cost so better do something nice to make his father's make his father happy his parents happy which is good あと、え、次のプロジェクトはね、説明していただけませんか。あ、わかりました。そこ面白い、やっぱりこれは自然的な、あ、素晴らしいですね。今見てますね。お願いいたします。はい。え、今写真見えてますか?あ、見てます、見てます。はい。えっと、ファーストレース
でそこの、まあ、実験栽培をしたり、うんこうえー、その植物を売ったりして、えー、生計を立てている、うん、6人家族のための、うんえー、家です。いいですね、6人ですね。はいでえー、とこの家はですね、あのえっ、ー、とね、宅地と農地っていう、あの、日本では、こう、えと土地に、こう、名前がついてるんですね。あの、役割があって、宅、うん、地っていう場所に決められている場所にしか建物は建てられないようになってるんですね。うんうん、で農地では、農業をしなきゃいけないから、うん、農地はあれですね、アグリカルチャーですね。うんをしなきゃいけないから、えー、野菜を育てたり、うん、お米を育てたりとか、そういうことをしなきゃいけない場所が農地です。うん、で、えー、この3つの土地をお世主さんは買ったんですね。3つね、うん。3つの土地を買いました。うん、で、普通に考えると、宅地にしか建物を建てられないから、えー、この家は愛知県ですね。愛知県です。あ、わかる。オッケーです。はい。宅地のところにしか建物を建てられないんですけど、うん、日本の,この法律を見ると、うん、この農地のところにも農業用の倉庫ですね。うんうん、えーとか、温室は建てられるっていう、あまあ、農地にも建てられる建物があるんじゃないかっていうことを、うん、まあ、逆手にとって建築を計画したわけです。うんうんえー、こう普通こう日本の法律だとこう敷地境界敷地境界線をこう越境して建物を建てることができないから、うん、敷地境界線にこう近接させて建物をこう3つ建ててアウトラインを連続的に作っています。難しいですかわかりました。じゃあ法律だから、ルールはですね、法律だから、どうやってこの3つのパートとかね、何パーセントぐらい、はい、わかりました。うんうん、うん、うん。気にしないと。うん、でこれはあの、あの、私がこう論文でやってたプレ,グプレグナンスの、あ、プレグナンス。うん、あの考え方を少し使っていて、あ、素晴らしいね。えー The law of pregnance. It explains the simple images we see in clouds or patterns on the ground. The mind will initially see the simplest interpretation of visual stimuli. Why the phi rectangle? Because the tree branches echo the diagonals available in the phi rectangle. Here we can see how the model's arms and dress repeat the intervals to create rhythm and unity, two things that are greatly important in any master work. うんうん、ただ、えー、屋根の色も、えー、外壁の素材も異なるので、うんえー、こう3つこう違う建物があるようにも見えるというようなこうまとまり方、うん、まとまりすぎないこう緩やかなまとまりみたいなものを、うんえー、この建物で計画しています。あそれは素晴らしいですね。あえー<笑>うん、それはこの、えーなえー、すみません、ちょっと前の写真、アローとかにやっぱり、えー、ビジュアルの、えー、関係、ああ、わかりました、うん。やっぱりね、ああ、OK、はい、うんうん。この屋根のところに、えー、敷地の境界線があります。うん、屋根の切れ目のところに、うんえー、敷地のボーダーがあります。うんやっぱりな私にとっては一番オプションポイントとか、えっと、この法律とどうやって何が難しいポイントは法律とかルールとかですねあと農業だからやっぱり家と自然の関係ね関係ね、うんえー、平成平成平成じゃなくて水平水平の関係ねそれは面白いですねやっぱり、うんえー、このランドはフラットですかえー、少し勾配があります。うんうん。それも面白いですね。少し山,山になってますね。まあ住宅ですけれども、えっ、ー、と、はい、オーナーとかオーナーね、オーナーね、まあ、はい、オーナーとか、やっぱりこの仕事と住むと同じ場所、はい、うん
ああえー、とここでも少し仕事をしますし、はいはいはいえー、この近くに、えー、大きな音質を持っていてそこが、えー、メインの職場になりますなんかすごい面白いですね私はこの,この,この設計もプロジェクトは好きで、えー、あ,あ,本当ですよあと<笑>本当本当私は建て前してい本音です外国人だからね<笑>、はいあと、本当、本当ですね。私、石川さんの、あと、私はね、石川さんの研究とか、プラグナスとか、ゲシュタルトの心理学と、うん、設計もやっぱり考え方近いです。同じだ,だと思います、うんうん。同じと思います。ハウス OS。ハウス OS was designed by、uh, Mr. 石川翔一 while he was working with his friend,、uh, with colleague,、uh, Mr. k a v i a Working, I mean, when they had the, uh, uh, the one to one architects uh, design, uh, one to one architects design office. So,、uh, because of、uh, privacy reasons, I mean, the owner asked the Mr.、Uh, Mr. Ishika not to show some photos about the,、uh, the surrounding area of the,、uh, the building,、uh, of the house. However, I checked,、uh, I mean, because of privacy reasons and、uh, The, the request of the owner, Ishikawa san, Mr. Ishikawa, could not show or all the photos that he had.、Uh, maybe、uh, I think he wasn't prepared for this interview, or he didn't expect me to ask him in f- of a lot of other details, maybe. But I found the, on the, on the uh, uh, website,、uh, on the site of、uh, architectural, architectural site of Arc Daily, a description of uh, uh, House OS. Open to, to public so I can publish them, I, I think. I think.、Uh, so I'll read the description in English. It is a plan for a two family house for the owner who runs a tropical plant farm with the whole family. In the, country, in the countryside of Japan, legal farmland and residential land are adjacent to each other and are mixed. The owner of this project also purchased a site consisting of three types of land residential land, farmland with a road, and farmland without a road. At first glance, these lands seem to be one, but there is a strong invisible borderline between neighbor, neighboring lands as stipulated by law. Well, the Japanese law is clear about when you have you know, agricultural lands,、um, areas, and residential areas. There are, so you ha- there are laws that you, should, you must follow. So,、um, these lands seem to be one, but there is a strong invisible borderline between neighboring,、uh, neighboring lands as stipulated by law. By focusing on the borderline of the neighboring land, we pro-、uh, the architects. Did propose a new landscape of r- rural farmland and residential land. Therefore, the architects built、uh, separate buildings, houses, agricultural warehouses, greenhouses that comply with the, law, with the laws of each of the three lands. Because different lands, different laws. Different laws. Uh, just uh, near the border of the adjacent land. With this layout plan, the outer shape of one building is, com- is completed while jumping over the boundary of the site. As a result, the borderline of the neighboring land disappears and the owner can live like a house built on one big land. So, Mr. Ishikawa told me because as he did the research before in his master、uh, about.、Uh, 
pregnancy, uh, pregnancy, pregnancy of the Gestalt psychology. He was inspired by this idea of grouping, of juxtaposition, of neighbor, uh, neighbor, yeah, yeah, like uh, uh, neighboring. Maybe I don't know if it's correct. Uh, neighboring, yeah, neighboring, and how to compose parts to be one a whole one part. Would compose different parts to be to look like or to be one part to make a big group, big cluster, built cluster as a house. On the other hand, to show that the land of each building is different, the architects designed a very narrow gap between the three buildings. In the gap, a new borderline of the adjacent land is drawn. drawn uh, Due, uh, due to the, to the environment such as light st uh, uh, strikes, rain drops, and windscape. In the plan, the architects, the architects designed life connections of, and new landscapes and phenomena that transcend the constraints of land. So, uh, information about the, uh, the project. So. Uh, so the project was designed by uh, Mr. Kamiya and Mr. Shoichi Ishikawa. Structure, structural design, it's Mokuzo, uh, I mean wooden, uh, wooden uh, structure with some parts in uh, steel uh, uh, structure. Komatsu structural design and the construction was uh, done by Hirata Building Company Limited. ね、えっと、この例えば石川さんと日本でやる仕事と設計仕事と海外でやる仕事はやる仕事は何が違いますかうん、僕は同じだとは思うんですけど、うん、そうだな。うん、はい、さっき一番もしこれから先海外で仕事ができるチャンスをもらったとしても、ま、同じ考え方でこうその国ならではのあの日本日本には日本のこう法律があるし、こうRJ しそうがとかこう、うん。
、日本で一番難しいです。と大変難しいと思います。なぜならちょっと、僕は違いますからね。例えば、何か、何か、えー、松本先生にとっては、うん、やっぱり、美学の戦争が、すごく大事、日本の。あと、美学、どんな美しい、すみません、えー美しい、美しい建築とか、美しい環境とか、日本人の考え方と、他の文化の考え方,考え方はちょっと違いますけれども、やっぱり、多分アフリカは、まあ、関係に、コミュニケーションは、やっぱり、文化に基づいています。どうで,すでしょう日本でちょっとクライアントとか、えっと、とやっぱりコミュニケーションとかあとコストの話とか、えー、世論なこと難しいですね厳しいでしょう、うん、ちょっと分からないですよやったことがありませんけれどもでもでも私の人とは厳しくなった方がいいですね、まあ、なぜならあんまり大例えば他の国はねアルジェリアでも私は一番好きじゃないアルジェリアでどうやってでも建設して、どうやってでも建設する。それはあまりダメです。私には。日本ではどうやってでもはできないでしょどうやってでも何でもとか。でしょやっ,ぱやっぱり建築家のイメージもね、設計のイメージは大事です。もし悪いことも作って、これから多分仕事できないと思います。でしょうん。そうそうそう。うん、やっぱり。ハラレイ・チャイルド・ケア・センター・イン・ゼンバブエ。So,、uh, according to Mr. Ishikawa, this、uh, Uh, the, his participation in this project wasn't really、um, that, uh, that uh, how to say,、uh, I mean, his partner,、uh, previous partner in、uh, One to One Architects was the main, he was the one who,、uh, uh, who, get in touch with, who got in touch with the client, and he was the main manager of that project. So he didn't talk that much about it. So I asked him if,、uh, if, there, is,、uh, there, was, uh, if there was,、uh, if there were any differences between working in Japan or abroad, outside Japan. He said,、uh, he found that working in Japan or outside Japan, they're almost the same. The,、uh, what, what's, what makes the difference is the context. I mean, what he means by the context,、uh, customs, customs, Uh, customs, traditions,、uh, society, and、uh, things like, for example, he said, I gave an example like、uh, I said before that、uh, wooden constructions and wooden、uh, structures and systems are expensive in Algeria. But in Japan, it's a t a r i m a it's very obvious to build in、uh, wood because it's cheap, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, convenient. I mean, a matter, a matter of price, a matter of time, of construction, etc. So、uh, that's, that, I mean, that's what,、uh, I mean, feasibility, feasibility,、uh, customs,、uh, traditions, and、uh, maybe the culture, of course, culture and history make the difference. But the nature of the job is the same. In addition to what I、uh, said before, so I told him, like,、uh, maybe working in Japan is.、Uh, Not, I mean, you, I mean, you can't do anything, you can't just, just work like you, like, do it to them or like you can't build、uh, meaningless buildings in,、uh, in Japan because the culture there is culture of beauty, there is a sense of beauty, sense of、uh, aesthetics in, in the society. They can't accept anything compared to Algeria here, build、uh, people, build like pieces of.、Uh, of uh, Of nothing, of、uh, stinky, ugly things, you know, and people accept them and they live. I mean, they accept them and they live in them, and、um, the culture is, is different, yeah. I mean, if you work in a society where people cannot accept anything, you give them, so it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, you have to be creative.、Uh, on the other side, on the contrary, Uh, on the other side, I mean, if you, were, if you, uh, uh, you work in a society where people accept ugly ugliness as normal, you can't be creative. Now, 
石川さんのやってるプロジェクトはね、まあ、今は今年はね住宅とか何かどんなどんな感じですかどんな種類ですかあ、うんはい、今はまあ住宅があいくつかありますあの、えー、4, 4, 4件ぐらい今やってますかね、うん、で、えー、と美容院あのサロンですねエアサロンをやったりとかえー、と歯医者さんデンタルクリニックもやって。オフィスとかやってるけど、うん、一番最近面白いなと思ってるのがあの猫のためのあ猫ですねあのア,ニマルアニマルウェル,ウェルヘアっていうのかなあアニマルプロテクションセンター、ね、センターねああいいねあ、うん、のこう猫を保,保護する猫をプロテクションする、うんうんされた猫のための居場所を作るっていうのをやっていて、それがこう人間のための建築しかやったことないんで、それは面白いですね。動物のための建築が初めてなの面白いです。<笑>素晴らしいね。それはなぜなくらやっぱりサイズね、人間のサイズのまあ法律まあ法律ねのルールとかあと。動物のもう小さい動物の例えば動き方とか、うん、それは面白いですね。面白いですね。まあ、シネリがこうあるかな分かりませんね。もシネリ<笑>動物のフィーリングはね、もう気をつけないといけないです。Here comes the final part of my discussion or interview with Mr. Ishikawa san. Uh, well, Mr. Ishikawa, so I asked him about his ongoing projects. So he said that he's working now on four houses、uh, one hair salon,、uh, salon de coiffure in French,、uh, dental clinic, and、uh, a very, very interesting uh, uh, project which is Animal Protection Center.、Uh, he was mainly talking about cats, so、uh, I told him, you know, it's very interesting because, of course, in human space, we think about the psychology. Of people within a space. It was the main,、uh, it's environmental psychology. But for pets or、uh, animals to think about their, I don't know if, they, we call it, if you can call it, uh, uh, call it psychology or not, it's quite interesting. Maybe we, we, we have to think about, he has to think about the size, the ergonomy, the,、uh, how animals feel, how do they feel protected within his house,、uh, within his design. So, which is quite interesting. He said, emotional, emotional, it's interesting. Anyway,、uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for、uh, your attention. I hope this interview, discussion, and translation was uh, uh, explicit. And、uh, I hope I will have the,、uh, we will have the opportunity to discuss with Mr. Ishikawa、uh, once again and with other architects from all over the world. Thank you very much. Ishikawa san, domo, jikan mo kimite kurut arigato gozaimashita. Uh, uh, sweet dreams and、uh, Oksan ni yoroshiku ne, kodomo ne. Bye bye, yoshimasai. Bye bye, arigato. Thank you, thank you. Bye bye.